We are back. Al DeMarco here along with Steve Budin. This is the portion of the show where we take a look at certain betting strategies and also discuss gambling from a generic level and sometimes like to focus on particular items. We've talked in the past couple of weeks about teasers, parlays, not betting on home teams because you have a rooting interest and that always perhaps skews your perception of how you should be betting on games. Today we want to talk about something which a lot of you have a big concern about, obviously. Vegas lines versus offshore lines and there's no better guy than this one to talk about it because as you know Steve a former bookmaker and also the guy who basically created the offshore sports book betting industry and Steve let me get your take on this I mean well, which way one of the biggest perceptions out there is that Vegas is this big gambling sports gambling mecca and actually it's not you know back in the 70s Stardust used to come out with the line and in the 80s everybody would rush to see what the Stardust had on the game because the, the line originated in Las Vegas but what happened with the advent of offshore bookmaking, 90% of action is now offshore, and 100% of all big bets are offshore. You go into a Vegas casino, typical Vegas casino, you try to bet a football game. Used to be in the 90s or the 80s, you can show up with a suitcase, bet 100000 on a game, no problem. Now, maybe they'll take 5000 maybe 20000 on the Super Bowl, maybe 100000 if you're Charles Barkley, but that's about it. Offshore, no problem. You put it up, you can play it. That's also where a concentration of the wise guy action is. So if you're at home looking at a screen, trying to make heads up, and you see Vegas is a point and a half off of the offshore line, rest assured the offshore line is seeing more action, more quality action, more sharp action. That's the line you should use as a reference point. You know, and in customer service, we are always getting emails at the site about, where should I play? Well, we're not in the business of making any recommendations or anything like that. But the one thing we can absolutely say, whether you're in Vegas, whether you're playing with Joe the bookie around the corner, whether you're playing offshore, you've got to have two or three different places that you can compare the prices because... Maybe this one place is getting too much action on one side. You might get that half point that you would have bought. You might get it for free. Or we also know that historically there are a couple of offshore places. We won't name names, but you guys out there, you wise guys, you know who we're talking about, where historically they are always a half point to a point more. Well, obviously, if you're playing a favorite, that's not where I'm playing. But if I'm playing a dog, that's the first place I'm looking. I always used to like to have two places, a place that shaded, you know, the, the favorites and a place that shaded the underdogs, meaning one was a sucker joint where every single sucker played. So, you know, every favorite was going to be inflated. The other was the wise guy place. So the, in, in that place, you had a sharper line. Sometimes you could get two, two and a half points difference in that case perfect opportunity to middle. Now, the other thing I noticed as a handicapper, and it really started about five years ago, um, with the advent, or I should say the explosion, really, of the offshore industry, you know, in NBA and college basketball, you used to have to wait until Vegas got off their rear end. 5.30 in they, the afternoon, they would come out with lines. Right, exactly. I mean, but now, forget right. about it. You got a real accurate overnight line. You don't have somebody sitting there, a bunch of handicappers, like, well, we won't name any names, a group putting out their projected overnight price. You got a real bettable line that's out there by 6.30 Eastern time, 7 o'clock Eastern time for the next day's games. And if you're a smart guy and if you're a good handicapper or a good gambler, you get down on the action then because it's no different than being in Vegas on Sunday night when the next week's NFL and college football lines are posted. Smart guys know where the wise money's going. And now that they have the action to support it, it's better for the bookmakers to come out with the lines as soon as possible it, because then they evolve that line. So in the beginning, they're not taking that big of a bet on the game. They release it overnight. They take a small bet see where the action's going, adjust their line, because let's face it, you could start every game at Pick'em, and just from the action you get, move that line. By game time, you're going to be at the right line. Another thing we wanted to talk about, you know, um, you are somebody that likes to play both ways. You like to bet on sports. Right. You also like to wager in casinos. Casinos just for fun. Sports, obviously, it's my profession. Right. So now, let's talk a little about casino wagering, sports betting. Uh, what is better for the better? Well, the better for the better, there's no doubt that, that, that sports wagering is better. And I'm just not just saying that because I'm the CEO of the largest sports information company. Look, bottom line, you bet a sports game, you're going to get two to two and a half hours of entertainment. Now, if you don't know this, you should know the average bet on the Internet is about $20. We're talking movie prices. So it's really affordable entertainment. Two and a half hours sitting in a seat with one risk. 
That's why the casinos, they hate the sports books. If it was up to them, they'd get rid of all the sports books. The only reason they have them now is so you don't go make your sports bet at Caesars when you're staying at the Mirage and then wind up playing blackjack and slots there too. Slot machines, blackjack, craps. You have multiple volume hands. You have a hand every minute. Sports once in an hour, once in two hours. Now you have places downtown and you know all over Vegas that are offering this in-running betting where they actually turn sports betting into a slot machine. I don't recommend that no. at all. Very addictive, but uh, you don't make money that way. No. Uh, you know, and the bottom line is that you look at this type of stuff and you think to yourself, hey, is there a way to make money? Yeah, you go ahead and you make money by focusing on, as we've talked about before, narrow down the card, find the few select games. You do not bet 40 games. You don't bet 30 games on the card. The more games you bet, the odds are mathematically stacked against you. You find the place where you're going to be playing. Very important to shop around. You make your wagers. Stay away from parlays. Look at teasers. We've talked about them in past shows as well. And that's how you become a wise investor. Well, you got to decide. Are you in it to win it, or do you just want the action? If you're a slave to the action, it's going to cost you. That's exactly it. Okay, when we return from break, we've got two more games to take a look at. The Jets-Dolphins, the AFC East showdown. Can the Jets get revenge after losing at Miami? They better. <laughs> well, you're talking about Mr. Jet over here. And Indianapolis and San Francisco, Colts. Undefeated, can they keep it going? We'll get to both of them after these short messages. Steve Budin, CEO of the world's largest sports handicapping website, PigNation.com, and I want to take a minute to talk to you about Las Vegas. Spent my entire life playing in Vegas, so take it from me, there's only one hotel that captures the essence of Vegas, and it's the all-new Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino in wonderful downtown Las Vegas. Now you can get a taste of the high life for free because once a month at picknation.com, we're going to select one lucky winner who will receive a free VIP high roller weekend getaway at the Golden Nugget Hotel. That lucky winner gets a high roller suite, VIP limo service to and from the airport, VIP check-in, and VIP seating to the Gordy Brown Show only at the Golden Nugget and all for free. And here's the best part. This contest Absolutely free to enter, no purchase necessary. Go to picknation.com, click on the VIP weekend getaway link in the top right hand corner, enter your email address and your info, and you can be the next lucky winner. We're giving away a free high rollers weekend once a month. Don't miss your chance to live large in Las Vegas, all for free and only at the Golden Nugget. Free. You can't beat free. And guys, I've got an amazing free offer for you today. Hi, everyone. I'm Al DeMarco, general manager of the world's largest sports handicapping website, picknation.com. Six leading sports handicappers. How would you like to get their plays free for three days? Today, tomorrow, and the next day. Free for three days. The plays of Brett Atkins, Chuck O'Brien, Joel Tyson, Charlie Sutton, Jay McNeil, and Pete Angelo. All six handicapping experts at Pick Nation are yours free for the next three days. Just go to picknation.com. Click on the free three-day trial pass. That's all you've got to do, guys. All their plays for three days for free at picknation.com. And when I say free, I mean it. <laughs> 